Hello, everybody. Uh, this is this is just a little haul that we did over the weekend. This is last weekend. This is Memorial Day weekend right now. I don't know when I'll get this video out because I've got another video I was trying to work on. I think I've kind of messed up the last video, but I'll go over and look at it. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This here is something that I picked up at a yard sale. There was a senior citizen gentleman. He was like in his late 80s. His wife had passed away. And a few years ago, I believe, I didn't ask anything. I just let him talk. I didn't ask no questions because sometimes you just need to let people talk, you know. And uh, he was letting go of a bunch of her stuff. He said she loves Christmas. Well, I love Christmas too. So she put this together. And as you can see, it's kind of not really in the best of condition right now. Uh, I imagine that when she first did it, it was absolutely gorgeous. She had this angel sitting in here. Kind of like that. I put this bow up here because I can't remember where it was at. As you can see, this is worn out. So I think what I'm going to do, my idea was to repurpose a lot of this stuff. Maybe put it in different places and maybe change it around a little bit. I don't know. Um, but what I, I got it for $2, you guys. $2. So let me turn it sideways and show you what it looks like. Okay. $2. And there's minimal damage to it, really, that I could see, except for, like, right in here. You know, it needs a little touch-up on the paint. Um, but right here, it had a little damage. So, I think that was it. But anyway, I got it for $2. So, I was really excited about that. Two bucks. Turn you sideways here a little bit really excited about that because I could you know get a big Santa Claus and put him in there with a bag or something I also got this for two dollars he's in pretty good shape I have to say he's in pretty good shape I took him out I looked at him really good and he's in excellent condition except underneath there is like a little switch isn't he just cute Underneath him is a switch that you turn on and off. He sings. It says, Play Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, okay, so he plays Santa Claus is coming to town. But there's a switch underneath it. You know, the little black switch where you turn on or off. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and it's missing. Sorry about that. My camera cut off on me. <laughs> so let's get back to what I was showing you. My sister brought me this couple of weeks ago or so a month ago I forget I had it set to the side cute little tea light holder isn't that adorable and the tag underneath it is from something laying away don't Daniels from 2006 it's a licensed company I guess I guess that's what that means and she got me the cutest little bowl isn't that adorable look and it's got polka dots all the way around it Christmas 2000 and something. I don't know. So it's more like a decoration piece. You could just put some candies in or something. It is. I don't think this is made to have food. Except for like candy or something like that. You get what I'm saying. Alright, let's put that back there. Put my Santa Claus back up here. So I've got a couple of things I want to show you real quick. I don't want this to be too long. I picked these up at a yard sale. And I was thinking, the first thing I thought of was like a fire ring. You know, like you have outside in your yard, sometimes in the wintertime or spring, summer. You know what I mean. And I thought, well, what if I have this in front of one of my um, houses that I like to put out. And maybe I can put um, like fake charcoal or something in there. And maybe I can have some little red sprays of some sort. Maybe like take this and chop it up in little pieces, you know, little strands and have it sticking up out of here. Like there's a fire going on in front of a house, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of big because my little village people are not that big. They're little tiny little things. I don't know. I might use it for something else. I don't know. It's just, I got it cheap, cheap. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But anyway, let's go on. So then I also got this. This is just a platter that you can put cookies on. Just cute as can be. He's just adorable. Just cute, cute, cute. Um, I'm not sure what year this is. What year this was made. Avon. Okay, so this is from Avon. 
Oh, okay. So Avon sold this. So this might, I have to look that up and see if it's worth anything. Like I really care. I just, it's just sentimental value to me. Okay. I, uh, we were at Rite Aid's and I picked up some of these for my table. This, I have an oval table, but the round will have to do for Thanksgiving. I got these for Thanksgiving, $3 a piece. I got one for my long table. I have like a five foot, six foot table. It might not fit my six foot real well, but it'll fit my five foot table pretty good. And I picked up, I picked up three. And then I thought, well, either for Thanksgiving, I mean, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving, you can use these two. Halloween, um, Thanksgiving, $3 a piece. They're adorable. I got two. And then I picked up two of these for Thanksgiving. You know, when you're washing dishes, you put these little drying mats out. And these are for Thanksgiving. So when I have company over and everybody's washing my dishes and helping putting them away, you know, after dinner. Got that. Okay. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Isn't that adorable? Just adorable. They call it the Dollar Tree, but it was $2. <laughs> So got that. Now we're getting into a little bit more. Here's some Christmas stuff. Here's another piece of Christmas item that I got from the gentleman. I was telling you about his wife passed away. This looks brand new. It's a little dusty. He gave it to me for $2. She, she got it from a pharmacy, which it was $35. And they knocked it out to $24. I don't know how many years ago she bought this. Maybe she might have bought this. Who knows? But anyway, let's don't, let's don't worry about her. <clears throat> let's just move on because... So it lights up. Um, I can't remember if the water boils. I think the water does boil because of the sparkles in there. I don't know. Um, I can't remember now. And then for Halloween, I picked up these at the Dollar Tree. I have two big bundles. Or I have one big bundle like this. I think I have one bale like this. is humongous. Not humongous, but, you know, it's almost as big as this tub here. These I'll probably use for Halloween, you know, to put a few things out on Halloween. I picked up two of these at the Dollar Tree. I might just decorate my buffet. Creepy cloth. Sorry about the light. It's just, I don't have a very good lighting in here. There we go. I got two. They're the same. They were a dollar piece. Got those. And then I got this. I got this from Dollar General. Now... Let me see if I can get the flash to turn off. Let me see. He lights up. He just lights up inside. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Yeah, you can tell a little bit. And what it does is, is sometimes the light will be, you know, the, you don't see the pumpkin flash though inside. You just see inside there. See, and it blinks more. Changes colors. Blue, green, purple, I think. Or blue, yellow, purple, orange. Look, it, in the dark, it's even cooler. But if I turn the flash off, I don't know if I can turn it back on. Okay, we'll turn it off and see if I can turn it back on. Here we go. Isn't that cool? I got him for five bucks. He was the only one at the Dollar Tree. I checked another Dollar Tree to see if there might have been a, some more of him or other items that are similar to him or, you know, no, none. And I thought, what could I get to go with him? Ta-da! This truck is the perfect size for that tree. So for Halloween, I'll probably put him out in the truck. Does the same thing. Blinks, and you can see it through the pumpkin. I got this one for $3. So that's for Halloween. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Of course, it was $2. That'll be for the Halloween, too. I'll hang that up somewhere. My sister gave me this. Because she knows I, I like skulls and stuff. But I'm not real heavily into I mean, I don't have a ton of skulls. And I like to, but I do have a bunch of skulls. You know, some for Halloween. Uh, crystal skulls as well. And she gave me this. So I'll probably hang these up somewhere. Because I don't want them used. You know what I mean? I don't want people using them to put their hands in them. And then I got this. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think it was a dollar. Yeah, it was a dollar. 
And I think they had one that was in black, similar to this. Same style, but you know, with different, different things on there, different things. But I like this because I thought it matches better with the pumpkins and stuff and it'll stand out better. So that's everything I got you guys. That's everything. And uh, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will try to get this video out as soon as I can. No guarantee if it'll get out this weekend or sometime next week. But thanks for stopping by and watching. I should plug this in. That's what I should have done. But I don't have a plug close by. Oh, well. That's okay. He just lights up inside here. It's just like a light turns on. That's all. You know, it's, it's cute, though. All right, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you guys again later on the next video. Bye, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, there was a piece uh, that I forgot to uh, get out. Okay, I bought this from the same gentleman I bought the sleigh from and the motorcycle from. Sorry about the focusing. This thing is just... I'm trying to learn how to use this camera. So, as you can see, it's in damn good condition. It's like in excellent, excellent condition. That's where the cord comes out underneath. It's not broken. It's just got like these little pieces you see on here. That's just from the uh, the styrofoam that it's been stored in. So this is the back. Okay. This is one side. Let me do it like this so you can see. This is one side. And this is the back. Okay. You see the chimney. Let me see if I can turn it around without messing up. I don't want to break it. I got this from the same gentleman that I got the motorcycle and stuff from. So here's the chimney. Give you a little close up. You know, sometimes I put little people in these little houses, but this one doesn't have any people in it. A little detail, you see the porch. You see behind the railing, a little tree over there. Oops, I don't want to mess it up. This is in excellent condition. See the little this is from the one side. There's a tree. It's got little lights wrapped around it, but they don't work. Lights wrapped around the patio or the, or the side bars. What are you going to call them? This is called Buckaroo Bar. Isn't that just adorable? Buckaroo Bar. And of course, up here you see some bullhorns. There's the bullhorns. That's what they look like from here. It has not, there's been no repairs. This looks exactly, because I looked it over really, really well. And I cannot see any repairs. If there were any repairs, she'd done an excellent job at it. Buckaroo Bar, there's the buffalo horns there. So guess how much I paid for this? No, I didn't give $2 for this. Um, being that it's in excellent condition and everything, and I don't know exactly when she bought it. So uh, I don't think there's a date on the bottom of it. Let's see. 2009 it is a limited edition um it's got the stamp right or i don't know what kind of it's a c on there oh well so any, something anyway it's a 2009 edition and this is 2021 and this is still in excellent condition a lot of people that have these houses they don't stay in excellent condition he wanted 20 dollars for this and I told him, I said, well, I don't have $20 left because I bought a bunch of stuff. You know, I bought this and that. I only had a few dollars on me. And uh, he was like, well, how about 10? And I said, well, let me see what change I got left out. So right in front of him, I was digging out all my change, the change that I had left over, everything I had left. And all I had, I think, was $8. Yeah, I think it was $8. So he took $8 for it. I think it was $8. Was it $6? I can't remember now. I'm just going to say $8. So I got this for $8. And the box is still in really good condition. That it came in. It's in really good condition. Let me be really careful here. There's the front of the box. And so, yeah. And it looks like she wrote on her 2009. So she took good care of this one. So this will be going in my Christmas decor this year.
because you know I like to do villages and stuff but we'll see how we'll see what I do this year with my with my houses and stuff all right I'm gonna add this all to the end of the video and uh, yeah I forgot about this piece I'm like didn't I have an extra piece and, and I was like oh yeah it's over here so I had to go in my other room in my spare room and dig it out there it is all right you guys I will talk to you later thanks for stopping bye see you later Bye, everybody.